What's happening, folks? And happy Friday to you guys, and welcome to Bartender Hustle. So I don't really need to do much of an introduction to this game because it's pretty much, I don't know, self-explanatory. If you like to make drinks, you, you are a bartender or you want to be a bartender for whatever reason, this is the game for you. I, I don't, I can never do it, man. I can never be a bartender because I don't know how to make really good drinks. You know what I'm saying? I can make a little bit, but like I can't make some crazy concoction that makes, you know, somebody say, holy hell, man, this is one of the best drinks I've had. I, I just don't have that, that mindset, but this is something that if you're intrigued by, check it out, man, check this game out, see how it is for you. See if you like it. I've never played it. We're going to jump in here and see what this is all about. See if we can make some crazy, crazy drinks. And it looks like we have quite a bit of different settings here. I'm not exactly sure what endless is or sandbox or I mean, I can kind of get what arcade is, but let's go ahead and dive into the story mode, guys. Let's start from probably the very, very bottom of the bartender world. You know, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe just, you know, in your basement with your friends or you got a like a, a garage bar or something of that effect. I'm not exactly sure, guys. Either way, man, let's hop in here. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can make whatever the hell this is right here, guys. Yeah, I think the biggest thing is gonna be it's gonna be volume of the drink. You know what I'm saying? Like if you have like a a three ounce, you know, shot that needs to be poured, you do four ounces. Now you're over pouring. You're wasting money essentially. But anyways, Amy is here. Amy, hopefully Amy will help us out. So out of work for three weeks and rent is due at the end of the month. If I don't pick up this job, I'll miss my rent payment. That's not good. Am I Amy? God, I hope not. I don't want to be Amy and miss my freaking rent. All right, so. Uh, apps and residents. The music player can be opened with the M button. I'm not really sure what that even means, why we have a music player. But anyways, you can change your outfit by interacting with the wardrobe in your bedroom. Cool. Good story. This is... Hey, I have a cat just like this. I am not, <laughs> not even kidding. Ninja. Hell yeah. Well, my cat's name is Midnight. It is a black cat with yellow eyes. This one, I don't know if it has yellow eyes or not. Um, it does. That is literally the cat that I have at my house. And I, I I did have dogs, but I no longer have dogs. So maybe at some point I will get dogs again, but I do have a cat that's been around for like nine years. Like the thing is old as hell. It's bad asshole, man. It's more, it's more like a dog. It actually goes outside, goes to the bathroom. But anyways, way too much information. Uh, aren't you lucky to be inside on a night like this? What's going on, Amy? Is it snowing? Is it blowing? Is it raining? What's going on outside, Amy? Come on now, girl. What's up? Oh, it is definitely a rainy day here in the city, folks. Yes, it is definitely rainy. I'm not sure, man. You know, I live in a, I have a house. I've never really lived in a big city. Um, my city's not small, but it's not big. I don't know. Like, I guess having a cat in a bigger city, it's it just makes more sense, right? Because like a dog, you don't want to keep a dog up in an apartment. I mean, you can. Don't get me wrong, because like it's it's just you're more. I'm lazy, guys. I'm lazy. So if I have a dog in an apartment, I gotta like go, you know, walk outside, and I gotta let it out, and it's just like, oh man, this is so much work. But when I had my dogs here at my house, I got a fenced-in backyard, right? So it was easy. Dogs had a doggy door. They go outside. They do their thing. They come back in. But it just seems like it's so much work, man. Um, but I know it's doable, guys. I trust me. I get it. But just not for me. I am too damn lazy. Anyways, enough about animals. All right, Ninja, you have a good day. Okay, we're done. We're done with the Ninja. Let's go see if we can go to our laptop and see what is going on. All right, so Whiskey's Pub. I tried to go to this bar last night. It was closed. Too bad. I'm trying to make new friends in this city. I will try to visit again tomorrow or tomorrow night or tonight. Whatever, dude. What the hell is going on? Um, so this is the bar, bro. I don't know any of this, man. I don't know what this takes. Like, I don't know anything about drinks. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do? I, I, I have no idea. So yeah, we don't know what that takes or how much alcohol that takes or anything of that nature. That is all right. Well, we just definitely flush the uh, toilet. So yeah, that's bad, pretty badass. That's what we do. We like to flush the things. Um, how much does this, I don't know, three ounces? Nope. <clears throat> 0.5 ounces. Okay. Well, we definitely failed that. All right. So we have a God, it's, it's changing. Why is it changing? What is the name of this, of this cocktail? I would say it's a cranberry cookie. 
Hell yeah, we got that right. I guess we're, we're one for two so far. Old fashioned. I have some friends that drink old fashioned, but I do not know. Oh, how much whiskey goes into an old fashioned. All right. I don't. Is this like, is this all I do? All right. Let's try to go outside, guys. Let's see if we can go outside and actually do something because I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't want to quiz yet. All right. Here we go. What's up, girl? Whiskey's Pub, 9.54 p.m. You want a Bud Light? I can get you a Bud Light. How about a Coors Light? No? You want something crazy? Okay. What do you need? How can I help you? Hello. Uh, all right, Amy. Right? Right what? That's me. Nice to meet you. My name is Nora. I've got a couple other candidates lined up for this job. So we'll see how you do tonight and go from there. You have any experience bartending? Negative. Uh, I've got a bit of learning to do, but I think I can handle the basics. No, you, you, you can't, Amy. Don't, don't kid yourself, girl. All right, you can't. You're a hairdresser. Yes, if you guys have not seen my hairdresser simulator episode, watch it. We are a fantastic hairdresser. I'm not gonna lie. Actually, we kind of suck. Anyways, uh, that's fine. I can teach you how to mix a drink, but I need someone who can connect with customers too. I can do that. Whiskey's is known for its friendly service. We need to maintain that reputation. I understand that, girl. I got you. Don't worry about that. All right. No problem. Let's do this. All right. We've been closed for the past week to make some equipment changes or upgrades, whatever. And tonight is our reopening night. So you're going to reopen with me as a very, very, very new bartender to the world where I can I can literally go in the back room, get you a bottle of beer, open the bottle, and hand that to you. That is my expertise when it comes to alcohol. Anyways. It's a cozy looking bar. It looks like I have everything I need here. Okay, cool. Uh, those beer taps are brand new. Sweet, I can do that. Uh, some of the other equipment here you probably won't see very often at this bar. Flaming drinks and high end cocktails were never popular at this establishment. Okay, flaming drinks. Yeah, you probably I've seen them on, on like TikTok where you can like light the drink on fire and it like it's just it's craziness, right? Yeah, I'll show you another time. We have a fairy, a fairly simple beverage menu at this bar. Perfect, dude. Easier the better is my model. Let's do this. Whatever. Nora, I forgot your name. I've got my hands full running my new bar down the street, so I could really use a good bartender here. My family owns several bars in the area, so plenty of room for advancement if you can pull it off. All right, sounds good. What do you got for me, bro? Let's start with something simple. Grab a highball glass. I don't know what that is and fill to the top with a pale owl beer from the beer tap and serve it to me. Okay. I think no, Amy, don't jump ahead of yourself here, girl. We're not sure if we can handle that yet. So we gotta go find a tall glass or something uh, to pour a glass of beer, take the highlighted glass from the counter, place it under the beer tap and pull the handle. That is pretty freaking easy, right? We can definitely, definitely do that. So we need to go over here and find that we gotta find a glass right where's the glass is at oh no there got it got it all right let's go over here and let's pour the beer set it right down and we're gonna pour we're gonna fill that bad boy up is that what she said just to fill it up i don't recall what she wanted right to the brim all right here you go nora you like that? All right. Hell, dude, that's what I can do. That's the stuff. That's my caliber, guys. That is exactly where we need to be. I mean, you want me to pour your beer, girl? I got you, man. I can pour your beer. Ain't nothing about that. Excellent. Hell yeah. You know that's excellent. Thanks. <laughs> She's like, thanks. Yeah. It ain't nothing. It's easy. Uh, we usually start getting busy around this time. I bet you'll see your first customer soon, but you'll need to know how to mix a proper drink first. After that, you'll be on your own for the night. We'll meet here at the same time tomorrow. What do you mean I'm going to be on my own? Like, I've got to have a trainer, dude. Like, seriously, like, have somebody standing next to me or at least give me a couple hours of training. I'm not going to I'm not gonna stream a couple hours of training, but give me something, man. Amy, stop. I can handle my own shift. No, you can't, brah. What are you talking about? Go ahead and make a screwdriver. I think, isn't a screwdriver, is that like orange and vodka, I think? Isn't that like orange juice and vodka? I think. Uh, you can refer to the recipe while you're mixing a cocktail. If you overpour slightly, don't sweat it, but your customers might reject your drink if it's not correct. Okay, screwdriver, coming right up. I'm pretty sure, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm not a big liquor person, but I'm pretty sure... 
a screwdriver has orange juice and vodka. Don't quote me on that, guys. All right, so the required liquid ingredients for a recipe are highlighted and can be reset to their original position using RMB. Uh, garnishes, straws, and ice can be used by taking them from the respective bins and adding them to the glass. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a screwdriver, guys. Tab. Oh, that is, see, I knew it had orange juice and vodka. Dude, you know what I'm saying, guys? Like, I mean, that's pretty easy, actually. <laughs> like, I'm not going to brag because that is probably one of the most legit college freaking drinks out there, man. Like, hey, what do you want? I don't know. You got any orange juice? Yeah. You got any vodka? Yeah. All right, let's do this. All right, so let's go ahead and add ice to a tall glass. Do we set this down somewhere? Right there. All right, let's go ahead and add ice there. Hang on there, Baldy. I got you. All right, let's go do that. We had need two ounces of vodka. Where is our vodka at? This is going to be the hard part, guys. The hard part is knowing where our alcohol is. Uh, white wine, red wine, whiskey right here. All right, we have two ounces. All right. Do we have a like a measuring thing? No? We're just, we're just going to go solo here, man. We're just going to do it. We're going to eyeball it, right? Two ounces. Boom. Let's go ahead and put this right back, guys. We got to be a little bit quicker, man. We're, we're like definitely, definitely taking our time. And I'm not meaning to. All right, let's find our orange juice. Uh, orange juice. We have orange. We have orange. Whatever that is. Um. So I, like I said, guys, I think one of the hardest things that is going to uh, hold us up here is knowing where everything is. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't know where anything is at this time. And I'm not seeing any freaking orange juice, sir. Just hang on, okay? Stop looking at me. This is very. Very nerve-wracking. Do I got to cut an orange up? I can probably do that, but I'm definitely not going. Oh, wait. Why did I not get a check? We have we have two ounces of whiskey. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Wrong. <laughs> oh, no. We don't want that. Um, all right. Well, let's put that right there. Uh, anybody want this? Um, No. All right. Well, let's set that back down. We don't need that. Let's go get another high glass. Why did I put whiskey in there? My bad, guys. My bad. All right, set that back down. You guys are probably watching this like, hey, dumbass. You put No, don't put it up there. Put it down here. You put whiskey in there. Don't put whiskey in there. Okay, well, right there. Oh, okay, we're going to put it up there, I guess. All right, let's find the actual freaking right alcohol here. So let's go. We don't need any of this. Where is... I, now I see I already whiskey vodka. We don't want that. I want the normal the normal vodka. Where is the normal vodka? At? Oh my goodness. This, dude, I am the worst bartender in the world. There we go. All right, here is our vodka. Let's go ahead and stop setting things right there, bro. Right there. Go ahead and pour two ounces, my friend. Two ounces and oh shit. No, one more. Just a little a drop. Another drop. Oh, there we go. Set that back down, guys. Oh, no, not, not there. Put it back in its home. Right there. Okay, so now we need... Oh, shit. We didn't put the ice in. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. We're so fired. All right, guys. The ice is in. Let's find the orange juice. It's got to be right over here, man. Like, I would assume it's sitting in here somewhere right you would think so but it doesn't appear to be is there any orange juice sitting here nope oh <sighs> there there's that is we don't need that we need actual actual orange juice to make this work dude i can't even imagine i i can't even fathom if we were legitimately busy you know what i'm saying like this is why you need a trainer because you're putting me out here without knowing where any anything is, and you're just expecting me to know what to do. I'm looking for something that says orange juice. Maybe we don't have it. Maybe that the only thing orange that we have is this thing right here. I I, I can't imagine that's accurate, but um, I, I think it's gonna have to be, man. I don't know what else we're we're supposed to. I don't see anything else, guys. Do you? Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. We have so much shit back here. Holy cow. Wait, do we have orange juice in here? Bob, where's the orange juice? All right, we're doing it. We're using this right here. Not that. Not that. We're doing this. I don't know what else to do, man. That's the only thing that has a word orange in it. You know what I'm saying? We can't even... Wait, wait, wait. We can't even pour it. So that's definitely, definitely not right. 
definitely not right. All right. Oh, here we go. Orange juice. We got it. There it is. It was hiding. It's like a ninja. It's a ninja orange juice. We need four ounces, folks. Four ounces. Dude, this guy to the right of me is like, dude, this guy, this girl sucks. Like, what is she even doing here? Like, go back to Santa Barbara because you don't belong in this neighborhood. You are so incredibly slow. Listen, sir, I am learning. All right. Oh, what happened? What happened? We Did we mess up? Did we mess up? What the hell, man? Did we not put enough in? I can put one more. I put four in. I mean, there. Is that better? All right. There we go. Like, it's got to be particular. What the? Why does it keep, like, resetting, bro? I'm not understanding what is. Right, anyways, I don't know why it's resetting, uh, but it is what it is. Let's go and add orange wheel the hell is orange wheel have you guys ever seen orange wheel i don't even know what that is or where that's at you guys okay let, let's let's be serious here man with this game dude they really should have like walked me through an actual drink before um we did this because i really don't know what i'm doing all right orange wheel there we go and add medium straw guys actually i think we got it man <laughs> i think we got it dude uh medium straw right here okay who wants to taste this <laughs> who is my guinea pig somebody be my guinea pig all right here you go sir <laughs> i'm just gonna give it to him oh shit nope there you go ma'am we did it we got three dollar tip did you taste it is it good sir how can i help you hi there or hey there hi welcome to whiskey's pub this isn't my usual spot to drink. I had a late night, though. I won't make it here. I won't make it there tonight. Okay. What's your usual spot? I don't really care, dude. The hotel bar five, about five blocks away. I spent the five. What, does, I don't really give a shit, dude. <laughs> Sorry, but I don't. Uh, we just opened, reopened tonight. You work at a hospital? Yes. Emergency ward doctor. Oh, you might have a very stressful life, sir. I do apologize for the weight on your drink. What do you want? Straight up whiskey? Heroin, I'll get you whatever you want, bro. I'm a drug dealer simulator guy. I can do your hair. Oh, wait. My bad, dude. You don't have any hair. Uh, 12 hours in the ER. I bet you have some storage. What can I get you? I'd have a glass of red wine. Whoa, really? Did you guys expect that? Like, this dude... I mean, obviously, it's a video game. But, like, anybody that's a doctor in the ER or whatever, dude, deals with a lot of crazy, crazy stuff, man. Uh, I mean, I guess maybe wine's his 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 uh his go-to drink. I, I'm not judging, bro. I'm not judging. All right, so you can customize the bar equipment in your bar at any time uh, during gameplay. To open the bar equipment, press B. Any bar equipment purchased in story mode is also available to equip in other bartender modes. Okay, cool. So all right, let's get him a red wine. Uh, we gotta find a wine glass. Hey, don't with the where'd nowhere go? <laughs> Oh no, dude, she's like, peace, you're on your own, I'm done. Okay, Nora. Incorrect glass. Oh wait, yeah, I, I didn't put any liquor, give me your glass back. Oh no, give me your glass back, bro. Oh, uh, well, you deal with it. I got red wine right here. I'm gonna go and pour, okay, we're gonna reset that. Um, I, I can't grab that, whatever, so we're just gonna take this. We're gonna go ahead and put it right i put it right there, guys. Grab our red wine, and hopefully we can take back our glass. If we can't, then I guess it is what it is. I don't know why we just put that up there. I need to pour it. We just pop the top off. That's how we do things. What's he want? Five ounces? Not bad. I guess not bad for ER Doc. I mean, I think he needs a whole... Oh, gosh. We gave him too much. Yeah, he's not going to cry. He'll be all right. All right, sir. There you go. There is... Well, we we got one. Oh, we got marked off. He he tipped us. He'll tip us more if we keep giving if we keep giving him more alcohol. We'll definitely get a lot bigger tip, right, guy? You know what I'm saying? Get people drunk and they start tipping like crazy. All right, you're welcome, Patrick. Or sorry, Marcus. I don't know your name, bro. Don't really care. Probably never see you again. Did you know that is not a good idea to reach inside a spinning washing machine? Yeah, I, I mean, I actually kind of did know that. I mean, I'm, it's like common sense, I guess I would say. Uh, never thought of it. What do you mean you never thought of it? Like, uh, But I found out at a young age that is not a good idea to stick a knife in a toaster. Dear God, that's horrible. Why would you even want to do that? Like, that's, that's bad. 
And how are you still alive, Amy? Like, for real, for real, for real. Uh, patient suffered a close fracture of the radio in uh, uh, whatever the hell that is. Ural bones of the forearm should be fully recovered in six weeks' time with minimal... Dude, Marcus, I don't give a crap, bro. I'm sorry, man. I don't really care. Who knew doing laundry could be so painful? <laughs> whatever. Uh, we are fragile beings, but through through these moments of pain and suffering <clears throat> excuse me we become stronger absolutely see i give him more alcohol and he starts talking like a wizard right uh would you suggest i reach inside a spinning wash machine and become stronger no i would not recommend that we all learn from mistakes but it's better to learn from the mistakes of others as a child my mother told me not to put my hand on a hot stove so i didn't I think we all did that as a kid, right? Come on now. I wish my mom told me not to stick a knife in a toaster. That's common sense, Amy. Come on. You know what's up with common sense. You cannot stick a, a metal object into a toaster when it's on. That just is not, it's not good. So for if any young kids out there, do not put tin foil into a microwave and start it, guys. That is not a good thing to do. My daughter actually did that when she was little. Yes, wasn't good. Uh, well, now someone can learn from you. Say, bartender, how about another drink before I go? You didn't even drink your first drink, bro. Certainly. What can I get for you? I'd like to have a Cape Cod, please. Oh, wait, what? No. What? What is that? Oh, my. Okay, we got this. We got this. I like how it tells me what I got to do. All right, so we got our high glass. We're going to go fast. Oh, who, who are you? You're not Nora. All right, guys, we're going to go super, super fast. Place that down right there. Place it down, Amy. Come on. There you go. All right, we're going to add some ice. And there we go. We're going to add 1.5 things of uh, vodka, which is over here. And right there. All right. 1.5. And oh. Hang on. Right there. All right. 1.5. Disregard. We got to do 4.5 cranberry juice. I'm assuming that is going to be in this area here. And it is. So we need to do 4.5. Hang on. 4.5 on a Richter scale. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's a lot of cranberry juice. Hang on. Hang on. We're going. Oh, God. We overdid the cranberry juice at a lime wheel. We know where the lime wheel is. Lime wheel is going to be up in here. Right? Right? Somewhere over the rainbow. There it is. Lime wheel. There you go, sir. What else do we need? Add a medium straw. Let's go ahead and get a medium straw. And boom. Wait. I added. Isn't that it? A lime. What? That's a lemon. My bad. Put that back. <laughs> oh, no. I am so freaking horrible, dude. Lime. There we go. That's what he needs. Here you go, sir. Drink up. Brand drink up. You have what? Oh, yeah. That's right. I did too much of the other stuff. Mall buy in. Are you good? Where'd your wine? You lose it? Ma'am, how can I help you, Lacey? What's up? Hi. 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 <laughs> a lot of highs here. Welcome to Whiskey's. Oh, I'm at a bar. I was on my way to the club, but I lost my twin sister. Have you seen her? Her name is Stacy. She looks just like me. Nope. You haven't seen her. Clearly, you're intoxicated because you didn't know you're at a bar and you're sitting there staring at me behind a bar. But whatever. Are you sure? Here's a picture of her. Dude, I don't. I, I don't care. I have not, I've not seen her. Go check the Eiffel Tower. I don't know. We have not seen her here. Nope. Hasn't been here. Okay. I guess I'll have a drink while I'm here. Can you make me a drink? Yeah. That's kind of what I do. You're at a bar. Uh, what do you want? Uh, gin and tonic. Yeah, I can probably do that. <clears throat> I can do a gin and tonic. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and get the glass of the month. Set that bad boy down right about there. And tab for this one. We're going to go ahead and add some ice to this bad boy. Where the hell did glass go? There it is. Add some ice. We're going to add two ounces of gin, which going to have to find gin. It's probably going to be here right somewhere. This is ginger beer, ginger ale, soda, tonic. But you have to do that. Where's the gin at? Rum, why? Yeah, okay, yeah, nothing. I should give her a whiskey and tonic, man, just to make her, like, wonder what the hell is going on with life. I mean, clearly she has no clue <laughs> where she's even at. All right, uh, two ounces. I should give her, like, 14 ounces, man. Make her really, 
really wonder where her sister is. All right, two ounces of gin. Nope. Gotta be slow here. I don't want to overdo it. Come on. Oh, come on. There we go. Put that back. And we need uh, four ounces of tonic. We know what a tonic is. Tonic is right there. All right, man. Your drink is coming right up. Four ounces of tonic. And we're going to fill this up right about there. Perfect. That's what I'm saying, guys. A lime wheel, which we know is right about here. Dude, we're going to get this, man. We're going to be like an awesome, awesome freaking bartender here in about four episodes. <laughs> it's going to take a minute. Uh, get in there, right? Okay, right there. There you go, ma'am. Yeah, dude, per 275. That was perfect, bro. That was perfect. We did everything we were supposed to do, and you gave me a 275 tip, dog. Come on, man. That was the best thing we ever did so far. Oh my god, it's your sister. Are you her sister? Nope. We're Where'd Ralph go? Or um, Al or whatever is Marcus. Where'd Marcus go? What's up, girl? What you need? Hi. Hi. Hello. Welcome to Whiskey's. I tried to visit this bar last night, but it's closed. Yeah, we were renovating stuff. A red beer. What the hell's a red beer? Well. We don't have any red beer, do we? Where's a red beer at? Um. Uh oh yeah we probably gotta get go okay yeah it's, we have tab we have nothing but tab we have no bottles we have no freaking uh, cans all we have is tap tap beer all right this looks like fire beer I don't know cinnamon beer maybe there you go Jesus people come and go like it's like it's freaking there's an earthquake going on thank you you're very welcome I like this bar thank you not a bad spot have a drink. Oh, it's not a bad spot to have a drink. Uh, yes. Where are you from? A place far, far from overseas. I've been here for only one month. What brings you to this city? I have no family. I'm the only one left. I felt like I needed to change my surroundings. Something to change the way I view things. Are you a murderer? You look like a murderer. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that about your family. Don't feel sorry for me. Feel sorry for them. Oh, this is getting sketchy just it's just like it's just that i'm sure you must be going through some difficult times you think i'm going through difficult times i don't know maybe are you that is how i've this is freaking weird they come to expect people to act in these places never expecting anything bad to happen what do you mean where i come from we expect bad things to happen it's okay i don't understand what is going on here don't you find it kind of depressing she's using a wrong bro you I get it. Bartenders are somebody you can kind of talk to, but like, don't you find it depressing is probably not a word you want to use. It's going to trigger some other emotions from this serial, serial killer, but we, I guess we'll see. As always, expect bad things to happen. It's not about expecting things to go wrong. It's about accepting the fact that things will go wrong. It's part of life. Move on. Why bother to try to control things out of my control? I see what you mean. So have you found a job yet? I work at a local motel, housekeeping, something to pay the bills. Do you like your job? I don't do what the hell is going on. It's just too much conversation. I can never be a bartender, guys, because I don't I don't care. Like, here's your drink. Move on, man. Go talk to the Joe Blow in the corner, right? I don't know, or I don't mind it. After work, I study. I want to be a mechanical engineer one day. We'll stop killing people when you might be. Good for you, bartender. Another drink. You didn't even touch the first one. Uh, I'll take a rum and cola. All right, guys. I'll get you, or lady, I'll get you rum and cola. My goodness, this has been so incredibly awkward with this. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the hell, muscles? You two, you two look like a couple. I'm not going to lie. You guys look like you should be, like, going to the the ballroom dance together or to the movies like she's just like killing people he's just like my muscles are so big all right anyways let's get this chick of rum and cola right rum and cola set it down man so not not you you don't get one sunglasses i wear my sunglasses at night all right we gotta find rum where's the rum 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 is uh i don't know where the rum is all right there it is right in front of my face what do you need oh shoot uh, oh, my bad. Well, let's just do this. We'll give her the rum first. She has no clue what is going on in life. 
Oh, hang on, muscles. All right, put that back. Let's get her ice. We'll dump it in there real quick. Let's get four ounces of cola. Where is our cola? So, yeah, guys, this game is not exactly a fast-paced game. I mean, not you're not going to get that. Where the hell is a cola at, dude? I don't even have a clue. I don't remember seeing cola anywhere. Lime soda, ginger beer, cola right there. Oh, it's actually... Dude, I am blind today. It's literally highlighted. All right, four ounces of cola. But yeah, this game is not a fast-paced game. This is probably all it's going to be. You might get a crazy, crazy busy time or something like that. All right, another lime. Let's do lime right here. Put it in a uh, glass and a medium straw. All right, so what we're going to do, guys, give her that. Are we over-serving? Are we over-serving? I hope not because I don't want to over-serve. These people, she, wait, what, what the hell are, <laughs> what, we're playing tic-tac-toe, okay, let's play tic-tac-toe, alright, I'm gonna go right there, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go right here, I'm gonna go over here, and we both lost. We both lost. We lost to Tic Tac 2. Draw. All right. So, folks, there you have it. Bartender Hustler. If you want to be a bartender, here you go. I know how to make a few drinks now. I don't know. I mean, I don't have any, like, alcohol or, like, liquor in my house. But, I mean, if I was going to ever be a bartender, I guess I can make something. I mean, if you really want to get into this profession, guys, this game is actually pretty good for that because pretty sure it's pretty accurate as far as like how you make drinks in this game and i i mean i have to actually research you know how to make a gin and tonic and if it's two ounces or four ounces but i'm i'm betting you i'm betting it's probably how it is i'm betting you this is uh you know on par with how it is in reality so here you go guys first look at bartender hustler i mean i'm assuming it's gonna get busier and more hectic but this is this is the extent of it man you just keep serving and serving to serving and eventually we'll go back to our apartment. We'll go, you know, check out Ninja, see what she's doing or he's doing, whatever type of cat that is. And, you know, I don't know. Maybe there's more to it. Maybe we can actually own our own bar after we get through this and we can have employees and stuff like that. I'm not exactly sure, but we will definitely dive into it a different day. But in the meantime, guys, enjoy your weekend, man. Thank you for joining me and hope you guys have a great rest of your night. And I will see you next time.